Hey everybody, it's Mike from Landon Custom Classics here. I'm going to do a little welding today in the shop with my new uh, Yes Welder DP200. It's the new du dual pulse. does pretty much everything. You just got to buy some different attachments and stuff from Yes Welder. And uh, their stuff's really cheap. I got this welder on their early bird special on the Kickstarter for $399. I've done a couple little welds. I'm brand new to wire feed. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've done a little stick welding. I really don't know what I'm doing at that, but I make things work. So we're doing a little studying, doing a little learning, watching some YouTube videos and whatnot. I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, what I've done. I'll show you the kind of penetration I'm getting. On this machine, it's an inverter machine. And I'm running it on a 120 volt regular outlet. I literally have a big extension cord going from my camper that I live in out to my little bully barn here. And uh, like I say, we're just running it on 110 volts. So you see, these were this is where I was practicing with it. I just kind of set it up here. It was running a little puddle. This was the first bead I ever did. I kind of hit it here a couple times, but. I come over here this is my first little weld with it not bad for a beginner i'll show you this is a pretty heavy old clamp look at the penetration we got with that thing that's got pushing some good heat and then i also just got my uh adapter so i can hook this into my dad's 220 it goes from your this 220 plug my dad's got on his house then it goes to the plug that my yes welder has so Got that off of uh, Amazon. So let's get after it, guys. Get to her. I've uh, used this machine a couple times now. Been uh, real happy with the results. So let's get her set up. Okay, we're going to do flux core because we don't have any gas. So we're set up flux core. We're set up at 030 wire. <clears throat> got an eighth inch that's the highest it'll allow on uh, for 030 there's your memory so you can save your stuff using our mig gun this is the trigger setting 2t still don't know what all that is advanced like say if you need you can go to help and it'll show you how to set your machine up troubleshoot it all that good stuff it even has a section that tells you what kind of gas you need for different metals all that good stuff and then i think i was watching some videos and it fell down somewhere oh there it is i'm pretty sure this is the plastic liner whatever kind of whatever it is to go in my gun because they say the metal one that's in most of them is pretty abrasive so uh, if you put that plastic whatever core in there you can uh, run aluminum wire through your gun or right through your machine. So let's uh, take this sucker. It says we're our wire speed. It's uh, supposedly like a European or whatever deal. My wire speed is set at 79 and my volts is at 14.9. We're going to do a couple little practice beads on this uh, old file here. Then I kind of cleaned up the edge of this because you want a clean spot to weld. We're going to try to put it on here at a 90 degree angle. So let's go see what we can do. <coughs> Got my gun right here. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Okay, so let's see what we can do, guys. Let me know what you think. Give me any pointers. I know it says uh, different wires. You want to use a different length coming out of there. So I've only used this a couple times. Let's see what we can do here. You can tell already I need to steady my arm. Because we're just making a mess. Especially in this cold, I'm a little shaky. So I'm going to put my hand under my other hand. And we're going to keep it right down there. I 
I think we light our table on fire. I think we're starting a pretty good puddle there. Scrape it off a little with this. We are using flux core. <laughs> I'll show you the penetration here in a minute. Yeah, it was a pretty good fire going on here. Well, probably not a good idea welding on that. But anyway, let's take and clean this weld up on the bench grinder here. Show you guys my little bead here. Not a horrible little puddle for somebody that's brand new to wire feed. Let's say my uh, big one I got to work on. <laughs> Keeping steadier. <laughs> so I can do things. But here we go. We got this cleaned off on this edge here. I'm going to get a metal welding table in here. Now what I've done, I've uh, ground this edge at an angle here. So you can get better uh, penetration there. We're going to get our magnet here. Might move this back a little and try to get you guys zoomed out a little further here. Okay, guys. So we're going to try to use this magnet here in a very tall piece of metal. But put the magnet on here. Try to get us set up at a 90. Leave a little gap on there. Get it uh, straightened out right where you want it. Yeah, we're lined up on the back there pretty good. The reason you want to grind that down is you want somewhere for the weld to fill and uh, to anchor it good because if you don't have a little section in there you're just welding the two little lips pressed together so you open them up a little and then fill this gap it makes a stronger weld so let's see how this does i'm gonna hook our ground up here on the end of the file maybe <laughs> let's see try to get it stay pretty good there okay now we're gonna keep this kind of close like i said because it keeps your puddle better and everything I'm gonna put my hand on top of my other hand to stabilize myself and see what we can do here Probably do it a little bit more wire speed, but not bad for a automatic setting. Okay. We're doing pretty good, I think. You can say, let me know if you've got any better techniques or anything. But clean that up, see what we can do with it. I'm gonna grab a wire brush here. I'll pause you guys. Well, my wire brush is out in one of my cars, so we're uh, I'm gonna turn the wire speed up a hair. I'm gonna do it this way, that way, I can clean it off good on my bench grinder. Then I can just show you this side. Gotta get all my tools put up for the winter. This machine will actually sense an arc also. So, uh, 
when you squeeze the trigger and you don't uh, get an arc like when you're trying to feed your wire in your uh, gun you need to uh, there's a button you can push on here to speed feed it I'll show you guys that also this is the new uh, Yes Welder DP200 that just come out. Been probably seeing uh, YouTube videos for a bit because uh, they've sent them out to YouTubers and stuff to do videos on them to help them get sales. I've also done some products to. Uh, review and help them that are still on Kickstarter and that so that uh, they can get their product to market so okay now we can clean that one up <coughs> and I'll show you guys let's take the uh, wire wheel to it here clean it up I'm gonna, gonna learn to weld with you guys on here and uh, we'll put together some little projects to do but yeah for shaky guy just trying to get into welding it's not horrible and it'll hold good not a bad looking weld so like I say the machine seems to set itself well I'll show you this one it's just uh, dirty there Still got all the slag on there and stuff, but like I said, just took wire brush to that one. Doesn't look horrible. You work on uh, bringing it in a little closer to get more like your roll of dimes kind of thing. Kind of jumped around a little bit, spaced it too much, but. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one.